so it is after seven o'clock so i'm about to head on over to the bus stop so i can take the bus over to the concert so so yeah i just have this like little tie-up shirt black jeans and my black boots so very simple very simple um yeah so i gotta get going So excited. Another thing, besides seeing Ariana, I hope you health audio is good on this, but yeah, besides seeing Ariana, I'll be able to see Normani. She's gonna be the opening act of, act of the concert. And yeah, like I followed like Fifth Harmony like since they um started like once they were on X Factor and everything, like I had voted for them and everything, and I never seen them live, so this will be like Almost like seeing them live, just one fifth.
Just got back, haven't even been in for 10 minutes yet. It is, what time is it? It is 12 11. So, ooh, okay, yeah, it is 12 11. So, the concert ended like a little after 11 o'clock. My throat is a little sore, 
um, from the concert. It was snowing outside too when I just walked back. I'm so tired, but I had a really, really good time at the concert. Like, it's just crazy because Ariana was my first, like, concert ever that, like, I've been to. And that, but that was, like, when she, like, first got started. I think it was the Yours Truly tour. I don't know, but it was, like, I think it was, like, before her album got officially released or whatever. Like, it was, like, just one of her really early tours. And it was, like, in a small theater in New York City. There wasn't like assigned seats or anything like you could like pick your seat and it wasn't like I mean it was a good amount of people like it was like filled but like the theater was small and then now just to see that like I don't know if my location was like completely sold out or not like I don't know if that's like official but like it looked like it was sold out like I didn't see any empty seats like around in my um section nor did I like spot like a lot of like empty sections or anything so it's just crazy to think that like that was like a f like years ago like when I was in high school that I went to my first concert of hers and now this is my second concert and it's like in a like a stadium or whatever at the times union center in albany and it looked like it was sold out so it was just crazy just like to see the scale of things and i heard people talking about the concert at the bus stop afterwards and like i heard this one girl mention that like when she was like looking at ariana like it just still felt like she was watching her like on tv and like i literally had that exact thought like i just felt like i'm like I feel like I'm watching her like in a YouTube video because I would watch like her like concert videos all the time and yeah it just seemed weird like that I was actually like there and I wasn't looking at it through my screen I mean I did have to look at the screen the monitor sometimes you know because of where my seat was but it's just weird I'm like wow I'm actually like here in person like watching her so I like knew basically every song and even like my like least favorite song on the sweetener album is fake smile but that was like one of my favorite performances tonight i just really love the choreo and i was really like excited though to see only one because i saw her twitter that she said she was gonna like perform only one but she didn't at least uh, unless i'm like blanking because i'm really tired but i feel like she didn't i guess that she would open with seven rings and close with thank you next i got the closing song right she did close with thank you next but she opened with god as a woman and yeah it was just i really loved it I am really proud of Normani. Normani was fabulous. Um, I had mentioned in an earlier clip that I like was I loved Fifth Harmony. Like I supported them since X Factor and even like at their judges' houses performance on X Factor. Like I loved them and I was like I just felt like they were gonna be big and like they were something special and they weren't like all the other like contestants who like just don't become anything. Like I knew that they would be successful. And I just, yeah, I love them and I never had the chance to see them. And Normani was like one of my favorites in the group. Like I said, I never got to see Fifth Harmony perform. So it was like kind of like fulfilling that just a little bit. Now I gotta go see like Camila and Lauren perform. But yeah, she was just, Normani was amazing. Like she had like, there were two opening acts. Her opening act seemed like it was like twice as long as the first opening act, but I didn't mind at all because she just was like great. Like her dancing, like I already knew like she dances great and her vocals were really good as well. And she just has like that it factor, I feel like so. So, oh, before I go, I know what I want to show. I got a t-shirt. <laughs> it just says Ariana Grande has a picture of her. Thank you, next. And then on the back, it says Sweetener World Tour, ooh, 2019. So I didn't really want one with her face on it because now I feel like I can only wear it as like a bed shirt or something because I wouldn't really walk around with like something with just Ariana Grande's face on it. But and also, and Ariana, um, she like went out like they were throwing some like beads it looked like or like necklaces like during. <clears throat> I think it was during Bloodline. And, like, they were doing some type of thing that was part of the performance. Like, a, not a skit, but it was, like, you know, some type of rehearsed thing. And I could not figure out what the heck was going on. I'm like, what are they doing? Like, what is this? Well, it just went, like, my camera went, like, super dark for a second. But, yeah, I don't know what else to say. But, I mean, this just goes to show you, again, that, like, you should not let other people stop you from doing what you want. Like, I, see, I saw other people who looked like they were alone. And I was alone and was I gonna like, I just kept thinking like, I mean, honestly, I didn't 
really like care about going alone just because I'm used to and comfortable and I like doing things on my own now but like if I wasn't like that I can see how someone would be like oh I don't want to go to a concert by myself and even if you do think that maybe doing something like going to a concert would be more fun with a friend because maybe it would be that shouldn't like stop you to for doing something like if you really want to go because I really wanted to go to her concert and like if I waited for someone I just wouldn't have gone because like either nobody likes her like Ariana as much as I do or like don't want to spend the money to go see her anything like any reason and I wouldn't have had such a good night and like now also because I'm here for the concert I'm also making just like a little mini trip out of it and I'm visiting like my old school I'm gonna have some like great food that reminds me of like the good food like takeout that I had in college I'm gonna be able to like walk around my nice like the old campus or whatever and I'm gonna have like a really great time in a nice few days I'm gonna stay at this hotel and like have my own bed like it's just gonna be a really good trip and if I would have waited for someone to you know to do this with me I, I wouldn't be experiencing any of this so it just goes to show you that you cannot wait for other people to like do what you want to do you have to just do it yourself and that doesn't mean that you have to like say like oh yeah I prefer going somewhere by myself even though I do sometimes but just realize that no matter what if you're with someone or if you're by yourself you're going to do what you want to do and I think that that's just like the major takeaway